नमस्कार दिस इज लेसन ट्वेंटी फाइव कूलिंग कैलकुलेशन मेड इजी बाय यूजिंग सॉफ्टवेयर इन पार्ट्स वन टू थ्री दिस इज द फाइनल पार्ट थ्री सेक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू सी आउटपुट ऑफ द रूम एंड आल्सो द समरी ऑफ द कूलिंग लोड कैलकुलेशन सो कीप वाचिंग आवर चैनल दीप आई टी दीपक बाबरेकर This is output of the software used for cooling calculation. Part one and part two you have already seen. In this part three, we are going to see software out output for cooling load calculation. In this, we can see all the data mentioned in BTU per hour and formula used is Q is equal to A U delta T. Where a is area in square feet, u is overall heat transfer coefficient, and delta T is the del temperature difference. Q is is total heat in BTU per hour values. So let us start with walls. We have got solar gains in windows, and each tends south. For windows, we have got this, and for solar transfer, so let us consider. solar and transmission gain for wall and loop we have got north east and south walls also we are getting all glass transmission for glass gain we have got normal partitions and warm partition we are feeding that values also in this case we are getting room sensible heat along with adding some duct heat gain and fresh air sensible heat we have use people and lighting sensible heat as in part 2 section we have seen this we are getting effective room sensible heat by adding all these values adding persons lighting equipment load for light and heat along with the fresh air we get effective room light and heat this value was be important to get sensible heat factor we get sensible heat factor by just dividing effective room sensible heat along with effective room latent heat and we get uh, indicated adp with chart in this case we are selecting 50 degree fahrenheit for adp with all the datas are used for the beauty per hour so we have to get dehumidifier cfm room supply air temperature room return air temperature along with the grand total heat that is used for btu per hour in that is for total tonnage and this is how we have to do this in the our next day so in this case we have got selected adp 50 degree fahrenheit so totally we are getting dehumidifier cfm room supply and temperature return air temperature along with the grand total heat for total tonnage in btu per hour our calculation is based basically based on inside outside conditions for summer monsoon and winter for summer we have considered 9 am and 4 pm daily timings with 12 degree daily range and for winter we are considering for the 4 pm only so this is how we have to get feed the data and get the output for our calculation what is the importance of all this we get two values for summer monsoon and turn and winter for two different times so we can select effective chiller or output size along with data cfm to final output this section we are using seeing what we have already fed and output data of the total cfm and total um, project details 
we have to see all this detail with carefully to come to conclusion for any project. This is a project summary for all data paid by us for latitude, altitude, area, volume, occupancy, lighting load, equipment load, pressure load and for summer monsoon and winter for 4 pm and 9 am. We are also getting equipment capacities like CFM, tonnage, reheat for this project. The you can see the heat required to maintain the RH can be also fed, can be get in this deal. This is the only output we are getting and which will help us to select the total tonnage for our project. Thank you very much for seeing part 1, 2 and 3. Keep watching our channel Deep IT Deepak Abhrekar for more details and subscribe our channel. Thank you.